How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech. So you've updated your iPhone to iOS 26, but you regret it, right? Maybe you didn't like the new design or it's full of bugs and issues, or maybe battery life is just really, really bad. It doesn't matter the reason, I'm gonna help you out with this video because today I'm gonna teach you how to downgrade your iPhone from iOS 26 to iOS 18. This is the official method that works every single time. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you can already tell, we will need a computer for this process. And trust me, you will need a computer. There's no way to downgrade your iPhone without a computer. This is mandatory, okay? But the good news is you can use any computer, a Mac, a PC, and the computer doesn't even have to be yours. You can get it from somebody else, like a family member or a friend, so everyone can do this, okay? If you have a Mac, you don't have to download any kind of software because it's already pre-installed on your machine. But if you have a Windows PC, you either have to have iTunes or Apple devices, which is a new software that Apple created just for Windows PC users. I'm gonna have a direct link in the description for both, so you decide which one you wanna actually download. If you already have iTunes or Apple devices on your PC, on your Windows machine, just make sure to update it to the latest version, otherwise it may not work. It has to be updated, okay? Now, after we do that, the next step is to download iOS 18. We're gonna manually download iOS 18, so this step is mandatory for everyone. Regardless if you have a Mac or PC, everyone has to do this. So let's go ahead and open up your favorite browser. You can use any browser for that matter, and then go to ipsw.me. Uh, you're gonna see it right here on the screen, and of course, I'm gonna have it in the description as well. And I'm sure you have seen this website before. By the way, I've been using this downgrade method for over a decade now, and I've always used ipsw.me and of course this exact same official method. So don't worry about it, let's go ahead and continue step by step. Right here, you're gonna easily select your device. So in this case, iPhone, but of course you can do it for an iPad as well. So go for iPhone, and then if there's an ad, you can go ahead and close it, and then you can choose your model. In my case, I'm gonna use an iPhone 16 Pro Max. And then right here, this is very, very important because we're gonna need to select a signed IPSW. As you can see, iOS 18.5 is currently the only signed IPSW, so the only signed iOS version right now. So we need to go ahead and download and click on iOS 18.5. But of course, maybe when you're watching this video, there will be 18.5.1 or 18.6. It doesn't matter. You just gotta make sure to get a signed green checked version. If you get any of those previous unsigned versions, it just won't work, okay? Because they are not signed by Apple anymore. Currently, just 18.5. So go ahead and click on it. And then of course, right here, just scroll down just a bit and click on the big blue button download. And then if there's an ad, you can just go ahead and close it as you can see. And then it's gonna automatically start downloading as you can see right here. I can actually cancel that because I have already previously downloaded it just to make it easier and faster for us, okay? But of course, you have to wait for the download to finish. After that, you can close IPSW. You don't need it anymore. And then let's go ahead and get our IPSW file, our iOS, and put it right here in the desktop. I just think it's much easier in the following steps. Okay, so I got it right here, so I'm good to go. The next step is to just go ahead and grab our iPhone, and you need to do this if you wanna avoid problems in the future. Go ahead and open up your settings, and then tap here on Apple account, right here at the top, and then tap on Find My, and then tap on Find My iPhone. And right now, we're gonna need to disable Find My iPhone. I know that for a lot of you guys, this option is actually gonna be grayed out, and that's because of stolen device protection. So if this option is grayed out and you can't disable it, no problem, just come back and back and back once again, and then scroll down and go right here to Face ID and Passcode, 
type in your passcode, type it in, and then of course go ahead and scroll down just a bit until you get to stolen device protection. On yours, it's probably gonna be on, right? Because the other option is grayed out. So go ahead and disable it, as you can see right here, just for this video you may have to wait one hour because of the delay. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Now let's come back and get back to our options. So Apple account, find my, find my iPhone, and of course go ahead and disable it. In order to do that, we're gonna need to type in our Apple account password. Go ahead and type it in, and then of course turn off. We're gonna see the blue button right here. Wait a second, and then as you can see, it's gonna be completely off, turning off, and then you're good to go. Now your iPhone is ready for the downgrade process. And now all you have to do really is go ahead and get your cable, and I do recommend that you use an authentic Apple cable or a very high quality one, and then go ahead and plug it in one end to the PC, and the other one, of course, to your iPhone, just like that. Make sure it's charging, as you can see, and then maybe you'll see some pop-up right here on the iPhone asking if you wanna trust the computer. If you get that, allow, so trust, and type in your lock screen passcode, and then you're good to go on the iPhone, you don't need to do anything else on it, so go ahead and leave it just like that, as you're seeing, just like mine, right next to the computer, plugged in, unlocked on the home screen so exactly like mine and you won't need to touch it anymore all right and then on the computer you may get some pop-ups as well maybe right here asking if you want to trust and so on so go ahead and do that if you get a pop-up like this saying that a software update is required no, 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 we don't want that, so you can say not now. We're not trying to update, we're trying to downgrade, right? So all you have to do now, if you have a Mac, is to open Finder, your file manager Finder, and then click right here under Locations on your iPhone. And then it's gonna load normally with all your information. If you're doing this on a PC, it's pretty much the same thing, but of course, you're gonna do it either with iTunes or with Apple devices, which I mentioned in the beginning of the video, again, link in the description. So you can go ahead, open it up, and of course, click on your device. It's probably gonna be somewhere around here. I'm gonna leave a screenshot exactly where it is, where you have to click in order to click on your device so you can get to this page. And then it's the same thing for everyone. We're gonna get to this page right here where we can manage our iPhone, and the option that we want is called Restore iPhone. That's right, we're gonna need to restore our iPhone in order to downgrade. And again, there's no other way. Just like we need a computer for this, we need to restore to downgrade to iOS 18. It's always been like that. This means that when we restore our iPhone, we'll actually erase it completely, wipe out the iPhone. We're gonna bring it back to the factory settings. It's gonna be completely blank, okay? I just wanna be very clear, you're gonna lose all your information. But of course, you don't have to worry about it because later on, we're gonna recover all of our data from a backup. So, if you've watched my video, if you've updated to iOS 26 with my video, you know that I mentioned very clearly that you have to backup before updating, right? That's why. So then, if you have a backup, and I know you do, we're gonna recover it later and recover all of our data later, and I'm gonna show you how to do it, okay? This video goes all the way through the end, all right? So stick around to the end of the video. Now, in order to restore, we're not just gonna click on it. What we want is to actually click with a key on the keyboard, so then we can manually select this file, the file that we've downloaded, iOS 18.5, okay? So in order to do that, if you're doing this on a Mac, click on option and then click with your mouse. And then it's gonna pop up a window, you're gonna see in a second. If you're doing this on a PC, it's shift, the shift key, and then click on the mouse, all right? Normal left click. So I'm doing this on a Mac, so option, click, and then as you can see, we've got here the pop-up window. We're gonna select iOS, the IPSW file that we have downloaded, and then click on open, and as you can see, your Mac or your computer will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 18.5, exactly what we want. So let's click on restore, and then guys, all you have to do is sit back and relax. The computer will do its thing. 
So it's gonna take a while for the process to work and all you have to do is nothing, just wait. So leave your iPhone plugged in, as you can see, don't touch it, don't do anything, just let the magic happen and I'll be back in a second. After a minute or so, your iPhone will turn off and then turn back on, you see the Apple logo and then you see a progress bar. This process will repeat itself for like three times. So you see the progress bar load and then unload and then load again. And then your iPhone will automatically restart, turn off, turn back on just a few times. And again, you have to do nothing, just wait. And so after a couple of minutes, you see this, your iPhone has been restored to factory settings, da 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 da. And this is very important. Do not unplug, don't unplug just yet. You still see the Apple logo and there's another full loading bar coming up. So keep the iPhone plugged in, even if you don't see anything else. Okay, this is completely normal. I'll let you when you have to unplug. And so when your iPhone is looking like that, at the hello screen, the famous hello screen, then you're good to go. You can go ahead, unplug it from the computer. You don't need the computer anymore and your iPhone is successfully in iOS 18. All you have to do now is swipe up and then of course do the usual, go ahead and set it up normally. So go ahead and set the language, the region, continue. And of course I'll go through with it just a couple more steps so I can show you how you can recover your backup. I'll be back in a second. And so after a couple steps, you're gonna get to this screen or maybe it's gonna be a different one. All you have to do is tap on customize because we need to get to this right, this next screen right here, which is called transfer your apps and data. And that's how you're gonna choose your backup. Either if it's a iCloud backup or a computer backup, you can easily choose so choose how you backed up before while you were still in iOS 18. And then of course, tap on it to select. If it is an iCloud backup, it's gonna load very quickly. In my case, yesterday, because I've backed up right before updating to iOS 26, the right way to do it, right? So all I have to do now is tap on it. And then of course, let it do its thing, let it load. And then the iPhone will automatically start restoring the backup it takes a while, you have to be a little bit patient, and then after the process has finished, you're done. You're gonna have all your files back, everything back to normal in iOS 18. So, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you on the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.